Karelian Snee was a human male Jedi Master, known especially for his short-tempered personality and lifting of the Seven Munter Stones. In order to gauge Snee's power, we must first examine the impressiveness of this one feat. The Munter Stones were a group of seven stones used in Jedi telekinetic practice. Each stone weighs at least five tons, but similar to other stones in Star Wars, they exhibit a strong connection to the Force. This much is clear, as Jedi who have failed to lift the stones can clearly be seen lifting more than the amounted weight of all the stones. As we can see, Grandmaster Yoda admires Grandmaster Faye Coven for lifting six of the stones, stating that he can only lift five as of the prequel era. Yet we can clearly see Yoda lifting more than the amount weight of all the stones. It bears the question, if Yoda, someone who can only lift five of the stones, can achieve this level of telekinesis, what might Ferlene Snee, someone who can lift all seven stones, be capable of. We know that as of Attack of the Clones, Count Dooku is equal in force power to Grandmaster Yoda. Throwing things at each other even though I knew they were equal to each other, so it was a hopeless gesture and they would have figured that out in two seconds. Yet despite Kenobi stating that Dooku was stronger on Geonosis, on Vajun, Dooku easily tossed 215 meter cruises at both Anakin and Obi-Wan. This is easily one of Dooku's best feats, and, seeing as he is equal to Master Yoda, Master Yoda should also be capable of replicating this feat. Yet at this point, Master Yoda could only lift five of the stones. Faykoven's feet involved entering a state of deep meditation to lift six of the Lunter stones. This feat, Yoda calls impressive and says that he cannot do it after passing 700. So in his prime, when Yoda was 700, he could only lift six of the Munter stones. But after 200 years of decrease, he can now only lift five, yet is still capable of showing these incredible levels of telekinesis. Notice how Yoda calls Faykoven's feet impressive even after she enters a state of deep meditation to lift the six stones, implying that Yoda too, when he was 700, also had to enter a state of deep meditation to lift six of the stones. Then note how Furley and Snee was seen casually spinning all seven of the stones above his head with a distracted expression on his face. If after 200 years of decrease, Yoda lost the ability to lift one more stone. And Snee could lift one more stone than Yoda ever could in his prime, with casual ease. Then Snee's telekinetic power advantage on Yoda must be at least the equivalent of the power loss of a 200 year decrease. Not only this, but Snee also bad-temperedly shooed the planetary enforcers away whilst he was lifting the seven Munter stones above his head, saying, go away, I'm only practicing. This unprecedented feat was only Snee practicing. Now just imagine what he could do in a state of deep meditation like Faye Coven and possibly Yoda when he was 700, or even the telekinetic abilities achievable to him should he actually be in a serious situation and not just practicing. Again, keep in mind that Yoda, someone who can only lift five, can do this. Then Furling Snee, someone who can casually spin all seven above his head, will be capable of producing telekinetic feats far greater than what we see Yoda accomplish. Furling Snee himself being the only person ever noted to lift all seven stones.
Judging by feats alone, he should theoretically be placed in a tier above Yoda when he was 700. The raw telekinetic ability that Snee possesses is near unprecedented. One's telekinetic ability, more often than not, mirrors their raw force power. Meaning that Snee should also have somewhat comparable force augmentation. However, note that Snee would in fact be bound down by Yoda, given Yoda's supremacy quotes. It is likely that Snee, however, would not be bound down by Yoda's Revenge of the Sith iteration, rather his prime iteration, given that all Yoda's quotes from Revenge of the Sith are present tense. Thus, would not include Snee, as he would be dead by the time of Episode 3. All of Yoda's supremacy quotes that are past tense are from the Star Wars fact file, which are in-universe sources written by New Republic historians so it can be safely assumed that they are referencing Yoda in his prime, roughly 200 years prior to Episode 3. Seeing as Furleen's displays of telekinetic powers, and therefore seemingly overall powers, seem to rival that of even Prime Yoda, he must be placed as close to Yoda as possible. Thus, I am declaring them equals it is possible that Snee specifically specializes in telekinesis, and this is how Yoda remains above it in terms of raw power, despite Snee's more impressive TK. This solidly concludes that Furleen Snee is amongst the top three or top five Jedi in galactic history. <laughs>